and you can start. Hi everyone, my name is Cicela Jimenez Vasquez. I work for Child and Family Resources in Maricopa County with the Parents as Teachers Home Visitation Program. What our program does is we help parents that have children under the age of five with the general parenting support, um, giving them support in their child's development, answering any questions, guiding them through the stages of their child's development all the way up to the age of five or when the child transitions to kindergarten. Um, the reason why I found it was important to join Sounds of Autism is because we work with families that have young children and those children might be exhibiting behaviors or concerns, not just for being at risk, but also concerns for autism. We work with families that have children that are, are already diagnosed with a developmental delay or have concerns about their child having developmental delays. Right now, what we see is a lot of speech delays in children, and so we help families to know some of the strategies to help their children develop more language, as well as referring families to agencies uh, in their region where they can take their child to get evaluated. In this process, families come to us uh, when they are in the journey at a very young age for the child. So the child might be two years old and not saying any words, or the child might be three years old and exhibiting some signs of autism, and that's when we start working with families. So we work with very young children and their parents to help them through the evaluation process, support them, guide them if they're not um, getting the uh, the information that they need from a certain agency or the therapy, they're not qualifying, they're not getting a call back. We help refer them to other agencies as well as supporting them in the emotional journey. So if a child qualifies for services with Arizona Early Intervention Program or with developmental preschool for our children that are older than three, we continue working with the family. And the reason for that is because when children are in OT therapy and speech therapy, any other therapies, those therapists work directly with the child, and that's great. That's what our children need, but we need to support the parents as well, and that's what we do in our home visitation program. That's why it's called Parents as Teachers. We are there not just for working with the child that had on that those specific skills, but we work with the family overall. We talk about other things. We talk about discipline, the importance of sleep, nutrition, routines, which are a big part of our children's lives, having those set routines, having consistency. And we support the parents as people as well. So what stress are they going through? How are they handling the diagnosis? What are they doing for self-care? We help them connect with other resources such as employment for themselves, going back to school, basic essential needs. So housing, food banks, diaper banks, anything that they need out in the community, um, we support them in finding those resources. Our families typically stay with us for about two years or until the child transitions to kindergarten, which means we really get to know the family. As opposed to taking a parenting class or doing a workshop series, we are there with the family every week if they need us to be there every week or twice a month. And so we really get to know families in those two years and we see our children going from you know being toddlers and struggling with speech to then potty training to then transitioning to preschool and we help guide parents through each of those stages because as children are growing new concerns are coming up right so the terrible twos are over but now your child really wants to be independent and new discipline things come up so we help guide them and educate their uh, the parents on the best practices on positive discipline techniques and all of that. 